Welcome back Australia and Mauritius, please like and subscribe my channel for daily weather and cyclone forecast for Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Mauritius. First we look at Australia where, tropical low strengthening, sustained winds near the centre of 65 km per hour with wind gusts to 95 km per hour, location, within 30 km of 15.6 degrees south, 137.6 degrees east, 150 km east northeast of Borolula and 210 km northwest of Mornington Island. Movement, slow moving, tropical low 07U continues to develop slowly over the southwestern gulf of Carpentaria. The system is forecast to move to the southwest and make landfall between the NT Queensland border and Port MacArthur NT. This afternoon, there is a moderate chance it could strengthen into a tropical cyclone ahead of the coastal crossing. Even if it does not develop into a tropical cyclone, parts of the Gulf of Carpentaria coast are likely to experience strong to gale force winds and heavy rainfall. As it moves inland tonight, the system is expected to weaken and begin moving west across the Northern Territory over the weekend. Gales with damaging wind gusts to 100 km per hour could develop along the coast between Bing Bong and Mornington Island during the day as 07U moves southwest, there is a small chance that damaging wind gusts could extend east to Burketown in Queensland later today. Depending on the movement of 07U, heavy rainfall is expected along the southern gulf of Carpentaria coast as 07U moves closer to the coast. Locally intense rainfall is also possible, refer to separate flood watches and warnings, as well as the severe weather warning, tides will be higher than normal across the southern gulf of Carpentaria today and Saturday. Large waves may produce minor flooding of low-lying coastal areas as the system nears the coast on Friday. For Mauritius and Rodriguez, strong winds warning in force due to tropical cyclone DJOUNGOU, the JTWC intensity forecast brings Jambu to typhoon intensity 65 knots in 24 hours and to 185 km per hour 100 knots in 2 days. Peak intensity is likely to occur between 2 and 3 days as the cyclone approaches the subtropical jet, benefiting from constructive interference with a 240 km per hour 130 knots jet streak to the southeast that will provide significant upper-level divergent forcing over the cyclone. By 3 days, wind shear will increase dramatically as Jiangu nears the jet axis, and the cyclone's accelerating southeastward motion along the jet will bring it over cooler waters, ultimately lower than 26 degrees Celsius by 5 days. Leading to rapid weakening, 